I was pretty much treated as if you know, I was an alarmist that this, I was told this was a normal bacteria, it's found in all ICUs, I should just collect data and I shouldn't do anything else. Intervention prevention, as Kim Wolford says, that's what leadership told her when increased multi-drug resistant bacteria led her to poor practices for cleaning and maintaining bronchial scopes in UC Health's intensive care units. If we don't move forward in this, this could be me in the hospital, this could be you, this could be your family members, any one of us. Hundreds of patients remain at risk despite manufacturer's warning, according to Walford. She says UC Health refuses to change its procedures, claiming patients may be getting sicker, even dying. So they recommended sterilization and leadership at UC Health said that they didn't have the resources and that would be too costly and they would not be doing that. Attorney Ben Moran says it's shameful. They have to be made aware that Problems do happen, and when they do, we can't hide from them. We have to address them. Not only uh, worry about the bottom line dollar-wise, you got to worry about the patient's health. In a statement to WLWT, a UC Health spokesperson said, our practice is not to comment on pending litigation. That being said, please know that UC Health is committed to maintaining the highest standards of care, quality, and safety for our patients. Wolford says this is about more. Ensuring that your staff, no matter what their title, no matter what their position is, is empowered to speak up. Wolford resigned her position at UC Medical Center after two years as an advocate whose job description was to track infectious diseases and process efforts to control outbreaks. She says she cannot remain silent. We're at risk if we don't change this culture and make them accountable for making these types of decisions to put revenue and image first. Now, attorneys from Ms. Wolford filed a lawsuit in federal court on Friday. They say that many patients may have unwillingly been affected by the hospital's negligence. Sheree.